What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another one of my how to fox body how to videos. If you're interested in seeing what the computer looks like and what I do to fix my computer, stick around, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and let's get right on into it. All right guys, so like I had mentioned before, we're doing a how to fox body playlist and it's gonna be the simplest things as going from removing a hood to uh, last week we did how to set a T5 transmission in place. I'm gonna probably steal some of my old footage from you know a long time ago and just kind of catch those moments, those little sneaky trick moments that really get you guys into fox bodies and some of the easier things that you can do to make it better. One of the topics we're gonna be talking about today, I'm not gonna make an eight minute video about at all. We are, notice my little fox days of Christmas list, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna be showing you the insides of an A9L and how to fix it. Now, to be honest with you guys, there's Fox body parts everywhere. I'm always fixing something. I'm always restoring something. So this how-to playlist is gonna be short videos, couple minutes long, not wasting your time. Let me stop talking. So long story short, to be honest with you, is very simple. Usually when a computer goes bad, it has something to do with these little stupid capacitors. Now this whole job took me like 15 minutes total anyways, but you know, it's not really gonna take you 15 minutes in general. But you can see here, the uh, the new capacitor, this is the one that usually goes bad all the time. And they bleed and they leak, um, they're usually blue. So this is like usually either falling off or, or broken. And this has got a rubber coating on the ECU so it protects it from weather. There's another one over here and this one's usually broke because of people who put chips in. They don't, they lay this down the wrong way. And another one that's broke is up here. And these three are all like the main capacitors that go bad in A9Ps, A9Ls. And these are 16 volt, 47 microfarad capacitors. And they're literally, you could get all three of those for like five bucks. And people even sell those <laughs> on the internet for like ECU repair kits for like 30 bucks because those things are just cheap and easy to get. Not so easy to put on, but they're pretty easy to get. But if you're down that far on your computer, you need to check your traces. Now that doesn't mean that your computer is gonna all of a sudden work again. There's also traces you need to look for. And usually the bad traces are up here in the top and they're usually burned. See these little runners? Usually when they're bad, those runners are burned. And you could also check the backside with a magnifying glass and check for traces that are broken over here. And if you're handy at all with soldering, you probably can fix your own A9L or A9P when they go bad. Again, this is information that's been on the net for a long time. You could send your computer out to, to uh, various ECU exchange places. I do think Matt at Fox Resto does repair them and he even's got the old machine to make sure it works when it leaves. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time giving you a long eight minute video ads and all about the computer, but that's what you're looking for. M most of the times you could replace these three capacitors and your fuel pump or whatever your issue you're having with your computer, you could almost fix it yourself. So where can you send it out? Where can you go to yourself? I go to Radio Shack. I have a Radio Shack locally who's owned by an old friend of mine who is really, really good at changing those capacitors because he fixes amplifiers and in all that old school audio shit from many years ago. So guys, if you enjoy my how-to videos, it doesn't really show you how to do it. There's a lot of good ways to show you how to, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here on a video and, and show you how to solder and show you how to pull those pins out. If you got a bad ECU, pop it open. It's pretty easy. It's like the, uh, you know, the, the torque tent, you know, T10s and T8s and stuff like that. You know, there's various amounts of bolts where you can pop this off. You know, worst case scenario. And also if you have a little, you know, if you have your void sticker, you could actually lift the case up to look at those capacitors and traces without actually the uh, void sticker falling off. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's short, it's quick. I'm done with it. See you guys soon in the next how-to.